if you are a Mac user who wants to install Android apps on your Supernote, please check the link in the description below. It points to an article on my blog where I describe the process and there you'll find links to all the tools you need. It's not exactly a simple process, but it's totally doable. I did it and if I did it, you can do it too. Today, what we are doing is taking a look at the Obsidian app here, first impressions of the Obsidian app. And after that, I'll talk a little bit about my synchronization strategy because I don't want all my files, all my Obsidian files here. There's a specific group of files and that my system, my timeline system will work very well here. You, you, you soon understand. Okay, let's take a look at it. Slide down and here it is, the Obsidian app. Everything here is original. It's a brand new account. There is nothing here. I just want to show you how it feels without any change. In fact, there's a small change. So let's go there. The only thing I did, let's go to settings. The only thing I did in appearance was to change the accent color to this whatever dark tone this is, I don't know. So it's it looks like the darkest of it all. And that's the only thing I did. So let's take a look at it. There's some ghosting, but it, as you can see, it goes away and there, it's super easy to refresh the screen on the super node. Just do this slide from the bottom to the top and it will, it will refresh. So let's create a new node. Oh, I'm also using note the this writing uh, handwriting. You can use the keyboard, but uh, handwriting here works so well that I always use the handwriting. So and writing works very well and i just did this on the other note I, I i didn't know what was going to happen but look at this if you create if you draw any emoji oh it didn't work this time okay now it worked <laughs> it's pretty cool <laughs> the only problem i'm seeing here it's not a problem it's just i don't know i don't know why see i, I guess when i hover the pen here it activates something and it's kind of a, maybe a right click, I don't know. So if I hover before touching here, it doesn't open the this drawer here, this panel. I have to just do this, avoid the hovering, try to avoid the hovering. But as you can see, the original theme has a very good uh, margin i don't know the border it's it's you can see all the border you can see everything and of course this is obsidian and you can change everything all the settings that you want so let's set the minimal theme we have see when i when i when the pen goes over it sometimes it, it's i don't know so you have this is one a, a detail that you have to pay attention to just tap just go and click so we are we're installing this one here the minimal install and use let's go back and the minimal theme has uh oops the minimal theme has settings that we can get from the community plugin so if we look for minimal here There, here it is. Install. These are the theme settings. Enable. And here, down here, minimal settings. We're changing two items here. The first one is this one here. I'm going to select e ink. And for the, the dark mode, I'm not using the dark mode here, but just in case, I'm going to select e ink here as well. So now, wow, this is really impressive. Okay, take a look at this. It's so good. 
it's simple and so good it's it, it's a super high contrast i don't know if you watched the other video about the minimal theme on the pan star but exactly the same thing happened here there is no border here you know what because this is the android app it is thinking that this is a phone and i don't know if you remember but the drawers on the phone they cover almost the entire page when you are using obsidian on the phone the side and left drawers the the the, the panels they do this on the phone anyway i think it should have a line here this would make it much easier to understand what's going on okay that's that let's talk about synchronization i tried something that didn't work i just want to talk a little bit about it because it was fun why make things simple if i can make them <laughs> super complex what i was trying to do is use my action container if you don't know what the action container is there is a video here about my timeline system where you can understand what the action container is but the action container is the one that i use most of the time and my plan my crazy idea was to synchronize the action container only the action container using sync thing synchronize that with the super note but inside a folder which was a, a vault that i created on the super note the super note vault so sync thing would grab the information from the action container which is a folder in my obsidian uh, vault the one i synchronize with all my devices grab the contents of that folder and synchronize the contents of that folder with another folder also called action container but inside a different vault the super node vault that's crazy right <laughs> i thought that would work because it it's kind of like copy and pasting things from a folder to another and it kind of worked but something was not uh triggering the information that a new uh file was inside the folder on the super note side if i forced the obsidian app uh, forced to close the obsidian app and then come back and then open the obsidian app sometimes i would see the files there other times i wouldn't so i scrapped that plan that was too too messy <laughs> and i'm now synchronizing uh, an entire vault with the super node so let's take a look at it before that there's one more detail that i have to share with you about syncing if we go to the obsidian uh help center you'll find this sync settings and selective syncing and if we scroll down here we can exclude a folder from syncing and here are the instructions okay but this as far as i know only works with obsidian sync and I don't use Obsidian Think. I use Think Think. I have already talked about this many times, and there is many reasons why I use Think Think. So I'm not gonna repeat myself here. Okay. Oh, we need space here. Let me minimize this because we need some space now. Okay, we are doing the split screen here. My computer on one side, the super note on the other side. So let's try this. Hi from the super no oops that's not gonna go <laughs> okay that's fine let's see how this how long it takes to uh show up on the computer oh there it is that was pretty fast so let me go to the computer now and fix this here first let's delete this and uh, super note let's wait for this now this is in real time okay 
Yes, <laughs> that is really fast. Okay, I'm now really inspired. I have an idea for another unexpected workflow like this one's here, but this is a topic for another video. For now, if this one was helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you want to help even more, you can support my work on Patreon or YouTube. You can also buy me a coffee. Thanks for watching. See you soon.